Okay, that's right the fermentation building. This guy that used to be used to be a winery before. That used to be a winery before for accident. Okay. This building was built during 1882. And they built a building only to sell wine to the French people. Because you know that the French people actually arrived earlier than here. Yes. And when the French people couldn't do any wine, we sell a lot of our wine to the French people. And then the flux came here. But I mean, this building it was a winery from 1882 until 1993. Oh, okay. yeah. And then it, it became a, a, like the family was on ruins, and then well, they, they left, yeah. they went to Barcelona. And then we bought the game, and we, we started making a game here wine uh, on 1999, 1998. That was the first winter that we did here. And then all the fermentations here are natural or spontaneous fermentation. Uh, and then all the eggs are coming through that door. Okay. Well, we have a December crasher, a sorting table, and everything goes inside. And then um, we have, of course, almost we have, Bandak almost has 45 hectares of vineyard. We do everything separate for variety and for vineyard. And then uh, each vineyard has different blocks also, if, we, if it's the same variety. And then uh, here I make 100 different wines. And then those 100 different wines I have to pump with the hose to the middle of the street to fill the barrels in the other building. Okay. <laughs> They have all the barrels in the building. And then my family owner, they put the bottle machine here. That means after aging, I have to pound the wine again and fill the, the bottles. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's difficult to work, but at the same time, to be in the middle of the town for the two owners was so important. Because yes. all the workers are from the town. And then all the people who is visiting us stay in the town for lunch, for dinner, to sleep. And they leave the country. So we, co we cover it, because we cover it a little bit, because I don't want too much oxidation. And then here I make the latest project, the Matilde de la Catalina de Joaquina. Those, those wines that are dedicated to very old ladies are done, yes. And here I make a 100% old lady choker. Uh, that's the white variety, old lady choker. And then I make a 100% rosé also from, the, from a, a vineyard that I have in the highest vineyard in the Pirates, it's in the Morello Monsan, it's next to Stade. Okay. And then I make a red wine also. And those wines are only are made for the uh, name after an old lady from the town. Okay, and, uh, great. All the money that we get goes to the town hall. And then also sometimes I, I, I try to do like some Carignanas for our top wines to have a little bit of freshness. Okay. Yeah, but depends on the year. I, I do that. Yeah. And then all the other one goes to the stainless steel tanks. And then my best uh, vineyards and my best grapes they go to the bar. Oh, okay. okay. And then everything goes to our building and then comes back here. As I show you about the machine. The, the thing of the of the color of the box is the color of the slate, as you see the, oh, the, yes, okay. the same color, the same. This, this building is like, we have 400 barrels in the whole building. I think you, you visit more wine than me, but I think we are the unique wine in Europe that we are going up and not going down with the barrels. We have barrels until the fourth floor, right? Yeah, it's crazy. But my dad and the owner, they want to be here, that's that no, we are happy to be here. And then, this is the typical Catalan arc or palm arc that's so famous here, because we came from the moments of Scala Day. Okay. I don't know if you know the history of about Prirat, but this land, Prirat used to be owned for the monks okay. that lived in Scala Day. Scala Day is another town, and it was a monastery, that's not the prior, and 
named Brior or Priorat is the name of the, of the monk. Okay. And then that used to be owned for the monks. And if you want to do a home here, you have to knock the door of the monks. And the monk architect came here and he did the home. That's not here, like a small church is in your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's because it's that used to be owned for the monks. And that, that's with that design for strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's so good for us for the weight of the barrels that we have in the second line. And although that you're going to see here is French oak, we, we never use American oak or stuff like that. Uh, it's another thing uh, changing Briad now. If you came here five years ago, it used to be everything like uh, new oak. Yes. Now it's a big change going on. Now we use second field of oak. Right. oak. And uh, it's, it's now, like five years ago, we, we like people saying, oh, this oak is so good. No? Yeah. Now, no. Now we're going to say that and people say, oh, this vineyard is good, or this variety is good. And you talk about the fruit, not the barrels. Yeah, 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 yes, great. that's right. Yeah, like if you all these barrels in here, and the, this is a very old building, you can think that the way these barrels on this floor is head up and held up on the solid structure, it's crazy. They have different soil, and that's Monsan appellation. Okay. Monsan appellation is the appellation that we have around us. And then, pre appellation, uh, we have the Guerrero, but it's down exposure to the sea. We are only 40 miles from the sea. 